To be honest, the environment we live in today is not good. There is nothing in the realm that the six senses come into contact with that is not temptation, it is a very powerful temptation force. If you are not tempted in this environment, you are a reincarnated person, and you are definitely not an ordinary person. So in this general environment, a person who is tempted, we must know that he is a normal person. If he is not tempted, this person is not normal. Which two kinds of people are abnormal? One is insensitive, idiot, not tempted. The other is the return of Buddha and Bodhisattva, these two kinds of people. Apart from these two kinds of people, how can you not be tempted by outside fame and fortune, wealth, sex, fame, food and sleep? Cannot have. So when we see this temptation, we have to have compassion and decide not to blame him. He is a normal person, he is not an extraordinary person, he is a normal person. If they wants to truly awaken, then turn around. They are not enlightened, then they will be fascinated, and the more they become deluded, the deeper they will be. It is often said in Buddhist scriptures, poor people. Therefore, I often advise some of our fellow practitioners to hold on to one infinite life sutra in our whole life and in this lifetime, and must from one subject of penetration. When will we learn to listen more widely to the world of ultimate bliss? If we haven't been to the land of ultimate bliss, we have only one subject to penetrate. When I arrive in the land of ultimate bliss, I will learn a lot, and I will learn everything, and I will learn all of the countless and boundless methods. I can't learn it now. If I want to learn it now, if my studies are complicated and chaotic, I won't be able to go to the western paradise of ultimate bliss. Right now, our top priority is to firmly grasp the part of reaching the western world of ultimate bliss, certain to be reborn. Therefore, the four great vows, the first two vows, we will try our best to fulfill them now. The latter two vows will be fulfilled in the Western Paradise of Ultimate Bliss. I divide it into two parts, learning the Dharma, becoming a Buddha, and going to the land of ultimate bliss. In this life now, I only do the first two. Arousing a big mind and eliminate afflictions. This is taking care of yourself. For true protection, the Buddha gave us an outline in this scripture from the very beginning. This outline is very, very important. Let's talk about it in detail in the following scriptures. This guideline is to protect the three karmas. We must obey the first sentence, skilled at safeguarding verbal karma, never deriding others for their faults. When others say our mistakes, humiliate us, slander us, harm us, even kill us, we must definitely not hold grudges. You must know that if you don't blame others, don't hold any hatred, and keep your mind always pure and equal, you will be enlightened. Just like what Master Yinguang taught us, I am destined to suffer this disaster, I should accept it, what do you have to complain about? Accept it willingly, eliminate disasters, eliminate your own disasters, and eliminate your own karma. If we change our minds in this way, the person who framed me, insulted me, and slandered me is innocent. Not only is he not guilty, but he has merit. Why? He has accomplished the paramita of patience and humiliation for me. And he has eliminated disasters for me, which is a great grace and great virtue. If we have the same mind as the world's people, hating them, taking revenge on them, it's really scary, unjust retribution never ends, then it's wrong. Therefore, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the mind of reincarnation and the mind of Taoism are all in one thought. Once you turn around, there is no one in the world who is not a good teacher. If you cannot turn around, none of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas are good teachers. People scold us, how many people scold Buddha? 
Amitabha Buddha is the king among Buddhas. How many people do you think have slandered Amitabha Buddha? Even Amitabha Buddha has been slandered, let alone our young disciples of Amitabha Buddha, what are we? We must understand this truth. We decided to repay grievances with virtue, achieve our own virtues, and achieve our own moral karma. This is your true protection for yourself. No matter what people say, we admire people, and we repay people, so you must know how to be grateful, so you know how to repay people. What favor does the person who slanders and framed you do you? Eliminate karma for me, this is grace. You don't know, you don't know how to repay kindness. Only when you know, can you know the karma from beginningless kalpas. This karmic affliction is an obstacle to our future rebirth. After it is eliminated, there will be no obstacles to our rebirth. In the future, we will pass away standing or sitting down. As for the lecturer, as I said before, when we lecturers pass away, after a sutra is finished, we put our palms together and say goodbye to everyone. I went to the land of ultimate bliss, and I just sat down and left. You see how comfortable this is. Who can do it? It can be done by eliminating karma. So so many people have eliminated karma for me. I can't thank you enough. It's not enough to repay the favor. No matter what means he uses to me, he is still my great benefactor and great kindness. So this is what Buddhism gave me. If the Buddha didn't teach me, how would I know these things? This is the benefit of my study of Buddhism, the merits and benefits of my study of Buddhism. I have obtained this benefit, and I want to share it with everyone, and you all have to be enlightened. You see, in this life, your mind is calm, without worries, without entanglements, without afflictions, and you spend your days very freely. Look at the people in the world, everyone's face is very miserable, I have no suffering, there is nothing like happiness. Why are you so bitter? Your thought has not been turned around, so you have suffering, but when your thought is turned around, you will have great happiness. My realm is getting better every year, and every year I get more and more pure. Last year, the audience here made an offering to me bringing back a whole bunch of donation envelopes every day, gradually taking them out one by one, half a day still to be counted, what deadly affliction is. I don't want it since last year. All the support goes to the ashram, and I don't need a penny. I'm so comfortable and fine, don't count it anymore. You see, very free. There is an advantage of not having money, a great advantage, no one will ask me for money, and will not ask me to donate. Where will the temple be built? Want to build Buddha statues? I say I don't have money, tell me, how free I am. I also don't have the Dharma. Now if anyone asks me about scriptures, audio tapes, videotapes, I say no, not even one book, if I don't have money, I won't do it. If you need it, go to the Singapore Buddhist Lodge to get it, come to Pure Land School Association to get it, they have it. You say how free and happy I am. Letting go of all conditions and being spotless, I really live a life of great ease. If you understand the Dharma protector, know how to protect the Dharma, you know how to protect yourself, you are a sage. You have entered the Bodhisattva position, in the Buddha Dharma, the most common expression is about this protection.